So right now, the Western world, Western women, are attacking passport bros. And they're attacking the Filipino women that the passport bros are going overseas to meet and see. So let's get into this video presentation with my girl, Danica Marie from Dope Discussions. And my other girl from the Philippines, the Filipina P. And I'm going to be reacting to Danica Marie's most recent dope discussion where she addresses these ugly women who are shaming passport bros and shaming the women who are accepting these passport bros. So check it out. I'm going to get right into this content, okay? And let's let Danica Marie talk her shit. It says females here talk down on women overseas pointing out negative traits that they themselves do here. <laughs> Terenzo, this is what I'm talking about, big brother. But the women overseas come here outgoing uh, females from here, or maybe you mean outdoing. And that's what makes U.S. females jealous. So true, so true. <laughs> women talk about us going overseas to be with them women are jealous because the women overseas are outperforming the women in the USA, okay? So true. And listen, one thing I wanna say really quick is I really love Danique Marie's, her, uh, her chat groups. Man, they be lit, y'all. So, Terenzo, mad props to you, bro, for, uh, you know what I'm saying, for speaking facts, for speaking that truth. Let's go. U.S. barely uh leave the block hold on let's get into they it they barely leave the block don't even leave let's the hood into it. <laughs> that's a great point Serenza. fantastic point and that's what i want to have because men are going out and exploring different options now we want to attack the options that they are exploring this is what a lot of the usa women are doing yep we are attacking the women that have nothing to do look these women are just being women being women and we are looking for these women they can't help that y'all are turning y'all men off so much yes, they that are. they're ready and willing to pack their whole entire lives up yes we are and go millions of miles away they can't help that bitch that ain't yes, my fault that ain't my fault it ain't their fault that's a huge women, dumb bad. problem man that's a y'all problem you should be USA. mad at you not me so, in an attempt to attack these men and make men feel ashamed and all of that, they are actually trying to shit on these women, talking about, you know, oh, they're just male brides and, you know, they're just impoverished and they're just stupid and they're just... My modern day Western women in the USA are completely ignorant. You know, I see the, the thing is, a lot of women in the USA they believe that they live in like the best country in the world where they have the most uh, advanced way of living, the most intellect, the most everything of everything. You know what I'm saying? Very entitled, spoiled, feeling that they are at the top of the mountain. Okay, they are the king of the mountains. But in fact, no, they're not. So that is what we're getting ready to highlight today. Um, these females right here at home going off on these foreign women and these foreign women saying, you know what? Enough is enough, bitch. Mm -hmm. I feel them. I'm, I'm standing Again, with Filipinos too. It's not too. my fault that you're not doing your fucking job, ma'am. It's not my fault that I am doing what you don't and what you won't do. Yep. And I salute Filipino women for doing this, standing up for us passport bros passport fathers hell us men with passports who decided to go in the countries you know where we will be treated like men respected and celebrated you know and cherished and nurtured you know we're finding women that will be that feminine counterpart to our masculine energy in our you know in our lives and your men are investing in giving me everything that you feel like you deserve and that you need but hey you're not ready and willing to do the roles, do the job, Not at all. and so you know that's on you. You you made your bed, ma'am. Yes, they have. They made the Don't bed. Don't attack me. They made me bed. Now oh, the man easy. that you want to lay up in the bed with you is over here giving me a house, uh, a car, stability, security, and the damn bed to go with. But instead of being mad at your damn self. You want to attack these men and go after these women. And again, the women 
are like completely innocent. Completely innocent. Now y'all can go in on the men, and, and, and you still don't really have a place to do that, but it's more understandable. Okay, so please, the passport office is closed. No <laughs> more. No, no more. No mas. No more passports. Okay. <laughs> This is why I love Janika Marie, man, and her uh, her dope discussions. Man, they be so funny. Her personality is so fucking funny. Another one, airlines. Yeah, let's go. Then they swear up and down. Men ain't building nothing. Yes, they are. So am. You're just surrounded by the men that don't because that's what you qualify for. Hold on. Thank you, Eugene. The men are pursuing um, for these foreign women and these GMO females are mad at those women um those women weren't pursuing these men that's the problem facts <laughs> facts facts they bad because the men that they were not pursuing are overseas with women that are better quality it's like wow how could you see what, what it is west women are very jealous because um they had a good thing right there in front of their noses and I didn't recognize it. So it was a good thing we walked away and found something better. It's not closed. If you can do a Star Trek and tell them, beam me down. Look here. <laughs> Ain't no Star Trek passport closed. Everything closed. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. Her live chats be off the chain, man. They be on some, some funny ass uh, comedic type shit. <laughs> beam me down. <laughs> Everything. Okay. Ain't no damn bitch. Ain't nobody beaming y'all asses overseas. <laughs> Simmer down. Charles. Charles says if females doing right from the beginning, it wouldn't be a problem. Truth. <laughs> if women, if, if you did right, okay, if if you if you were to be that feminine role, men would have never said, screw you. I'm going overseas. Y'all dropped the ball, women. Y'all dropped the ball. And y'all gotta face the truth. Y'all fell. You know what I find crazy? When one lose their life, it's always why she chose that one. But it's nothing said when a man uh, get walked on. Lord have mercy. Nothing. Hold men on. are not respected by women anyway. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and share my screen and now. I've already made me a reaction video to uh, the content that Danica Marie is discussing. And that is uh, the Filipino piece most recent upload about uh, the war. That's, you know, currently ongoing between... Filipino women and black women, okay? And I noticed some uh, some things about the women who feel, uh, the Filipino P discussed in her video. Let's see if the Nick Marie draws any similarities. Let's go. So, these are some of these past me chicks talking bad and talking down on these foreign women that, again, they they have nothing to do with being chose up on. Like, that's, that's not their fault that they are getting chose like this is not it it's like hating on an attractive woman because she's attractive oh that bitch <laughs> you know it, it, that's what it's given like it's just it's just it's whack truth truth again western women are jealous they're jealous that men such as myself have went overseas for better options and we're getting what we want we're not going overseas just to you know uh have for sex some are most of us are not we're going overseas and we're finding what we want and that's feminine cooperative nurturing supportive women who are going to be that feminine counterpart to our lives we're getting what we want let's go ahead you go find a wife in the philippines or thailand or eastern europe or wherever these places Founder are that are in taiwan overseas well, she's from the philippines i'm assuming you mean they're more biddable that they're less outspoken, they don't demand anything of you, that they're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity. I'll pause it there. No, uh, my fiance is, um, I would say she's soft-spoken, but she's strong at the same time. When I say strong, she has an opinion, and she will share that opinion with me in a respectable way. So, yeah, wrong. 
And in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find a partner. Is it because you prefer your woman without opinions? No. I just said my uh, fiance has an opinion, and she is not. She does not. She does not subject herself to my advances. Okay, it's a mutual thing that we do. We both want it. Okay, let's go. Able to fight back and vulnerable. Let's pause, Becky. <laughs> Becky, let's go, right, let's Becky. Go ahead and pause, Becky, real quick. Pause, Becky. Cooker, you cook this broad, Danica Marie. Cooker, be waiting. Cook this broad, Cooker. Hey, yo, Becky. What's up, Becky? Maybe they're overseas because they prefer women that don't look like this. For real. Get her. <laughs> Man, she hit the wall <laughs> running like 20,000 miles an hour. It's a lot. <laughs> Maybe it's a that. lot of reasons, Becky. Look. Rescued from their poverty stricken life of no opportunity. You talking about poverty, <laughs> Becky. You get her. And I mean, you're just not making your case by looking like you, ma'am. At all. Are in poverty. Like, are you mad? Because you are in poverty. <laughs> this bitch live in a trailer park. And on you're upset that <laughs> another woman that is supposedly in poverty, you know, is getting her life upgraded. Like, Becky. <laughs> Becky. And I, I hate how y'all trying to make this seem like men don't uh, like women with a voice. Women, men don't like women that have their own minds or can think for themselves and speak for them. That is not the case. Far the from problem, the truth. Becky, is a lot of y'all females, y'all just like to bitch and complain. It is a difference between having an opinion and bitching and complaining. Mm -hmm. So true. Bitching and complaining. That's what y'all do. And then y'all want to dress it up and well, that's just my opinion. You bitching. Bitching. You get him. Straight bitching. These, I'm, I'm pretty sure these women are overseas. <laughs> okay. And again, this is not to vouch for these foreign women and, and make it seem like oh, they're just so much better than us. And men just need to pack their shit up and go. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be objective. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. As much as I don't like it, as much as I want the uh, no, another one airlines to close down indefinitely, you know, I got to be honest. <laughs> another one okay? airlines. I'm pretty sure these other groups of women, they are able to speak their peace. They're able to have opinions. But maybe just maybe Becky, that these women, when they are voicing their opinions, they do it respectfully. Maybe they don't do it in a way that's condescending. Maybe they don't do it in a way to where they're trying to dictate and control a narrative or a man. Just my opinion. Well stated. But Becky, you looking real impoverished in this mother. Like, <laughs> ayo Becky. And in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find a partner. It don't take a rocket scientist. The reason is, look at, look at what they are being presented with, <laughs> where they are. Look at her face. This is not attractive. <laughs> we don't have to wander too hard. We don't have to ponder on it too hard, too much. You you wonder, Becky, you are the prime example. <laughs> Karen. Stay here and be with you? It, it, is that the alternative, <laughs> Becky? It's looking like you are mad that you have to put shower curtains on your windows. 
Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn, she got it. <laughs> she said, you are mad that you've got to put shower curtains on your windows. <laughs> Damn. That's the type of bitch who eat butter and bread sandwiches all fucking day long. <laughs> That's the same type of bitch who eat motherfucking fried bologna and ketchup sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I mean, I know, correct me if I'm wrong though, Becky. But it, it again, it does not take a rocket scientist to, to, to put the piece together as far as why you have men taking their damn talent overseas. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. If you care, Western women, to really consider what a man has to go through, put up with, and what he wants in his life, it's easy to figure that shit out. Men want to go where we are appreciated, supported. You know, we're given a, a partner who can work with us, not against us. Get what I'm saying, Western women? We want women traditional women who know how to do their role and yeah right this becky bitch mm -hmm, you ain't getting it man let's go is it because you prefer your woman without opinions unable to fight back and vulnerable yeah you got me i'm one of those overseas <laughs> women who doesn't have an opinion in my little head and i'll put up with your advances if only you'll rescue me from my life of poverty Please, sir. <laughs> I want some more. These passport. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I got the nigga too. Damn. <laughs> the Filipino he came in with that com the comedy. God damn. Listen, I'm gonna bring that back. You're from my life of poverty. Please, sir. <laughs> I want some more. These passport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> now. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> now, the little Filipino lady, she she petty for that shit. But th this is this is. <laughs> Got it. This, this is, is funny what as fuck. Y'all create like y'all make it so easy just to <laughs> mock you. Like yeah, bitch. It's because I'm just so poor. Uh, Oh, it's because I'm just so dumb and I can't think. And yeah, oh. But at the end of the day, bitch, guess what I got? A providing, protecting, leading man. A masculine man. <laughs> guess what I got at the end of the day, bitch? Yeah, I'll be dumb. I'll be poor, everything. But guess what I got, bitch? With my poor, dumb ass. The same man that you complained about. Yep. <laughs> The same man that you claim is trash that you don't want, but yet you make all these damn videos with all this commentary about how you don't want them and how they trash. Because <laughs> they know, man, they know they fucked up. They dropped the ball. They know they missing out. They know that the men, they know that they have lost a, a huge chunk of uh, good quality men from the USA, especially good quality black men. You know what I'm saying? Black men, we know what it is to struggle and put our pieces together. You know what I'm saying? We know what it is, black men. These passport predators are the bottom of the barrel. The reason they're going overseas to get women is because we don't want them. And they know if they go overseas, they're gonna well, they're more likely to find a woman who will do whatever it takes to secure a better life for her family. Get her the nigga. Cook her. Let me pause. We can't hit seven hundred. I like the video. Let me pause. Now, this lady says that the passport brothers are predators. <laughs> Damn. You know what? Projection. I didn't listen. I didn't really uh, pick up on this point in my video when I made the response to the Filipino P. But these women are projecting what they do. Listen. Dennis uh, Sperling, he done already blew the top off the motherfucking bottle. The conversation is open. Women from the USA, especially black women of all different ages, have been going to Jamaica for decades now. And they have been preying on young men. Young men in Jamaica have been sexually exploited by horny ass older black women. And now this... Butch bitch got the nerve to say that black, black men are doing the same thing that black men have, black women have been doing for decades. 
This is what you call projection. That's crazy. That's wild. How when men want to explore different options, they're predators. Yeah, it is. But when women do it, we're just leveling up. Leveling that's up. That's crazy. That, that that that's that's first thing as far as I. That was that was a little harsh to call them predators. Like, come on now. Yep, when women do it, they're leveling up or they're going to have a good time. Okay. <laughs> wow. A lot of men that I know, men are going overseas for their careers and finding, you know, better opportunities and uh, a, a better caliber of woman. You know what I mean? What's wrong with that? But she said, you know, we don't want them. They don't want us. <gasps> I'm heartbroken. They don't want me. They don't want me. It's all good. I got my cup of tea. Now, Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Betty Barbara. complaining, Barbara complaining. Barbara. Barbara, what's up, bitch? You would not be out here in your car at 7.43 in the morning with your phone now going in, going ham on the passport predators if you didn't care and you don't want them. Really Barbara, don't. we call a little bit of cap. Behind the scenes. Oh, black man. Oh, passport bro. Come back to me, my love. Don't leave me. I love you and I want the best for you. I just want you to tolerate my, my bullshit. Oh, please, football head. Oh, oh, beautiful black passport bro. Oh, why won't you be a sucker for me? Oh, oh, don't you know? How I love you so. Oh, this is them behind the scenes, swearing up and down. I don't want them niggas. I hate them niggas. Okay, <laughs> we call a little bit of Cap Barbara. Cap City, Cap City. Guys, I, I want y'all to pay attention to this. Hold on. To secure a better life, find a woman who will do whatever it takes. Hold on. To find That's it right a, there. They go overseas. They're gonna. Well, they're more likely to find a woman who will do whatever it takes to secure a better life for her family. What's wrong with that? Isn't <laughs> how how isn't that what every woman is supposed to do? Isn't every woman? Supposed to find a man and do what's necessary to secure a better life for her and her family. This is what um, Kendra Davis from the Crimson uh, Cure refers to as uh, a female using her her pergamy the right way. Okay. Thank you, CD. John it too. says they hate on the foreign <laughs> women, but they still buying from the beauty supply. Lord have mercy. Trying to get that foreign look. Lord have mercy. For real. For real, they hate no, they hate on the same women that they're trying to look like. Take it out. Black women hate on the same women that they are trying to look like. <laughs> they want that long, straight black hair, that real textured, long, straight black hair. Okay, black women, a lot of them, not all. Okay, some of them, a lot of them, are jealous. They're jealous, and they really want to have that look. You gonna go there tonight? See the visuals. Cause that's a good motherfucking point though and not the physique all those are those are great bonuses but what's taking the man is the women being women there you go the women being women roads are people who specifically go from country to country to country trying to find women exotic flavors uh to to dabble in right Listen, <laughs> I already got a rest of my reaction video. This woman is too ugly and too undesirable to even have an opinion in this situation. Ain't no man checking for you, girl, in the USA. I'm sorry, you're just you're just not pleasing at all to look at the face. And then your personality stinks too. <laughs> that takes... <laughs> Come with it. So, wow, it's hard to believe. You can't even believe this. Like, man, this creature has the audacity to, to shame passport bros. 
What we gonna call this Becky? We gonna call you Double Becky. <laughs> Double, Double Becky. Becky. McDouble Becky. <laughs> McDouble Becky. <laughs> How many flavors have you eaten? I'm not even gonna go there. These, <laughs> it's just very ironic. Like, my mom be blown, right? When you have these females with the audacity. I agree. Mind me blown when you have these women who feel like like what they think should be shared. Everything that you are thinking in your brain is not meant to be shared. It looked like McDouble Becky had, she, she tasted way too many damn flavors her damn self. Maybe just maybe that is a reason why these brothers are going overseas. And then the chick so insecure. <laughs> what the fuck is this filter? Hey, hey. McDouble Becky, you got a filter on, ma'am. And you still McDoubling. <laughs> you You're still giving Princess Fiona after she turned to a damn ogre. And I'm not even trying to go there. Because y'all, look, I'm just silly. Ogre. You know, I, I, we did this is entertainment. You know, y'all gonna talk about me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but Danica, you you can flame me back, okay? You can you can you can flame and roast my ass back. I'm just saying though, okay, for the sake of argument, and you know, just highlighting some things, exampling some things. You just ain't it, ma'am. At all. You, you women ain't like you it, are the reason why there are passport brothers. Because am I supposed to stay here with a female that is McDoubling, giving off Fiona ogre vibes <laughs> with the filter? Okay, filter's supposed to make you look better. Damn. You know what I'm saying? A woman that they can control, and because they can't, they can't find it here in America because uh, it's frowned upon to like own a human here. They go to other places in the world where they can legally own a human. Well, that Hold on. sounds to me like a lot of control issue, right? Uh, and missive to them uh, than to find a woman who is at your beck and call because, you know, the world countries or countries that are not as advanced as ours. And a lot of these women are desperate. So they're, they're going to take you up on that offer, right? They want someone who is going to be submissive to them. And what better way to find someone who's submissive to them uh, than to find a woman who is at your beck and call because... You know, the only reason she's in the United States is because of you. Sounds to me like a lot of control issue, right? Uh, and to be honest, ladies, these aren't t the type of men that we want anyway. That is what I want to highlight. Words don't have to be spoken. We can just look and see why men packing their shit up. And then when you open your mouth, ladies, attacking these women is not going to help your case. Especially y'all coming on camera doing what y'all doing. It's just not helping. At all. <laughs> and we gonna stop that one there, y'all. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, Western women, I hope y'all taking notes. Then they can read job and straight facts, gems on y'all. Y'all attacking the Filipino women or any foreign woman in other overseas, wherever, in their foreign country. It is not going to help you at all. Men are done. We're not coming back. We, in our minds, we are 100% certain that we want something better than what y'all are providing. We are not buying the shit y'all trying to sell us, okay? That's really what it is. We ain't buying it. So listen, the takeaway from, uh, point is this for the Western women. If y'all want y'all men to come back, if y'all want better men in y'all filters, y'all got to change. Y'all got to drop that feminist bullshit. If you continue to disrespect, emasculate, and bully men... They don't want anything to do with you, okay? And that's that, y'all. So, yeah, y'all, this has been me reacting to the Nick and Marie's dope discussion about the hypocrisy of many modern-day Western women. So, before you leave this video, do your boy a favor of hitting that like button, subscribing, leaving a comment, and sharing this content, okay? This has been your boy, CAC in the spotlight. I'm out. Peace. Deuces.